All right, in today's video, we'll be comparing Born in Roma Coral Fantasy to Born in Roma Green Extravaganza. Which one is better and which one would suit you best? What is going on guys and welcome again to another video. In today's video, we'll be comparing two flankers from the Born in Roma line. Born in Roma uh, Coral Fantasy, they just have a spray on the right uh, hand right here. Just to remind ourselves of the opening one more time. And uh, Born in Roma Green Extravaganza. Let's have another couple of sprays of the opening just to remind ourselves of the opening one more time. So let's just let them dry a little bit and see what are the differences and which one is better for what occasions. All right, let's smell Coral Fantasy on the right hand in here. Yep, the red apple note here is sweet, juicy, and sweet. Green Extravaganza is definitely much fresher. With the Calabrian Bergamot, it's very juicy and big in here, but with added some coffee. So you're definitely gonna smell the coffee note, which definitely adds some darker nuances into the Bergamot in here. And definitely there's some greener nuances here on top. It's kind of like reminds me of like dried mint, but it's not as much. But definitely there's something green on top in here as well. So Coral Fantasy is definitely sweeter and fruitier with the red apple note, opposed to the green extravaganza, which is definitely much fresher, but there's a big coffee note with some dried mint or something green in the background. Very light though. Also, the Coral Fantasy has got a big dose of lavender as well, and you can just pick it up easily, which is, gives it more like a fougere type, but in a younger tone. So definitely Coral Fantasy has got a lot of fougere notes opposed to Green Extravaganza, which is like very linear in a way. But when I say that Coral Fantasy has got a lot of fougere notes, it doesn't mean that it smells old because it doesn't. It's very younger than Green Extravaganza. Definitely Green Stravaganza feels like the older generation of Coral Fantasy. Coral Fantasy feels young and very lively. The red apple note here is big and juicy with the lavender, just gives a very likable young combination. Opposed to Green Stravaganza, which feels like a much fresher, a little older and uh, maturer than Born in Roma uh, Coral Fantasy. The coffee note in Green Stravaganza is definitely noticeable. You can pick it up from the top to the mid but not as much in the dry down but it's not overwhelming at the same time like a lot of other coffee based fragrances around the coral fantasy in the mid is very sexy though the red apple combined with the tobacco and lavender that combination itself is very 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 likable you just can't go wrong with this combination this combination is gold it was definitely gonna get you compliments on the other hand, Green Stravaganza is definitely much fresher. I love the bergamot note in here. It just it stays throughout the mid and it's big, combined with that coffee note and vetiver. It is definitely fresher, a little bit older, but definitely more elegant. The best part for me from both fragrances is the mid. It's definitely the star of the show. So either way, if you want to be sexy, younger, fun, go with Coral Fantasy is definitely for that. And if you're a little bit older in your 30s and up, but you still feel young at heart, definitely uh, Valentino Green Stravaganza is the one for you. It just has that same sexiness, but it's a little bit toned down with a lot of elegance. Definitely fresher and darker at the same time with a lot of green elements. Both of these fragrances will work perfectly for the springtime, but it depends what you want these fragrances to do for you. I personally wore Green Stravaganza at night and it got me a lot of compliments, I kid you not. Valentino Coral Fantasy hasn't gotten me unsolicited compliments yet, but I bet you it will. I prefer the dry down of Coral Fantasy because it just tastes sweet with a little bit of tobacco with the sweetness that it gives. Opposed to Valentino Green Stravaganza that it gets very very very, but it's very fresh very very, but it's not as much. And the sweet, sexy goodness just very tamed down, unlike uh, Coral Fantasy, with a lot of vetiver. Again, the vetiver here is very clean, very elegant, but it's not in your face. I definitely wish if the vetiver was more amped up in Green Stravaganza, just to give it more oomph in the dry down, which, which it doesn't have. When it comes to the performance on both fragrances, both performances are not great, seriously. Aside from the good projection for the first hour and a half to two hours, it just goes down very quick and literally become like a slightly noticeable skin scent for another two hours and then for another hour or two hours or so it's very very faint dry down you can even notice it i really don't count that very very i i, I personally I personally don't count that very faint dry down because you just can't in my opinion it doesn't count but for a lot of people they count this dry down but on the other hand if you want to revive this very faint dry down just go to the gym and just get your body 
warmed up and seriously is gonna reproject again and it's gonna smell incredible. Seriously guys, if you go to the gym and just go for a run or something and you have that very faint dry down that you cannot smell it at all, it's just gonna project very nicely around you and it's gonna smell incredible. So these two fragrances definitely need some body heat to be activated. So the overall conclusion, is it worth to purchase these two fragrances? I would say, yeah, it depends. What do you want these two fragrances to do for you? This one is definitely sexier, younger, and would get, get, and would get you more compliments and it's more mass appealing than Valentino Womo Green Stravaganza. But Green Stravaganza at the same time, it's very elegant. It's definitely much fresher. So you can use it for the summertime more than Valentino Coral Fantasy. And it's uh, office, appropriate more than Coral Fantasy, which is more like a very fun going out type of a scent. So this is pretty much it with my comparison video between Green Stravaganza and Coral Fantasy. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would say Coral Fantasy because Coral Fantasy is big in the community. But I would also say don't shy away from Green Stravaganza because Green Stravaganza is also very, very good. I personally enjoy it a lot. I've been told that my mic is very low, so I put it on the highest volume possible now. So let, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of the mic volume right now? Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace.